Welcome to the Eddie Hyatt Podcast. I am your teacher and host, Eddie Hyatt. So glad you've joined me again for this third session in our series on the power and priority of the name of Jesus. Uh, yesterday, we talked about how that that name has such priority and the third commandment. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall not use it in a light and frivolous way. And how the Lord's Prayer gives priority to praying that his name will be hallowed. And oh, I pray, I pray regularly that God's name will be honored and revered uh, in, in my community, throughout this nation, throughout the world. And I encourage you to begin to pray that prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, hallowed be thy name. And hallowed meaning holy, to be respected, to be revered, to be honored. Begin to pray that God's name will be honored in your city, in your community, among your neighbors, in your nation, let's pray that his name will be given the honor and the respect that it deserves. Now, one day, as we read, I think, at the close of yesterday's uh, episode, Paul said it in Philippians chapter 2 that there's coming a time when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the God the Father. For Paul said God has given him a name which is above every name. Now, today we're going to continue talking about the power, the priority of the name of Jesus. And, I, uh, and Jesus was given this name not by Mary and Joseph, but the name was conveyed to them by God. Through the angel Gabriel who appeared to Mary and told her that this child that she, that she would conceive in her womb and give birth to, that he was to be called Jesus. And then also Joseph had a dream. And uh, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And in Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, he said to Joseph about Mary, and she will bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Now, the Hebrew name for Jesus is Yeshua. And it literally means God saves. God saves. Now, here's something very, very interesting in edifying, faith building. The word for save in the Greek language, which we have the New Testament in Greek, it is sozo, and it's not limited to the forgiveness of sins. It's not limited to going to heaven someday. The word sozo includes healing, salvation, to be made whole, to be delivered. Uh, it is an all-inclusive meaning of being saved, even from temporal danger. When the disciples and Jesus were out in a boat in a storm. Jesus was asleep and it looked like that they were going down to the bottom because the waves were beginning to come over the boat and it was a raging storm and they came to Jesus. They awakened him and they said, Lord, save us. The Greek word sozo, same word that is used here. He will sozo his people from their sins. Same word that is used in uh, by Paul in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, whoever will confess uh, Jesus is Lord and believe in their heart, God has raised them from the dead. They shall be saved. They will be sozoed. And so the word for, uh, also this word is used specifically for healing in James chapter 5. Um, is any sick among you? Let them call for the elders of the church. Let them anoint the sick one with oil in the name of the Lord. Um, and the prayer of faith shall save Sozo the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. Wow. So, so they will be saved. Their soul will be saved, forgiveness ends, and their body will be saved from the sickness. Now, so, so the name of Jesus literally means God sozos. God saves. God delivers. God makes whole. Oh, there's power in that name. In a book called Ever-Increasing Faith, and uh, 
It is messages of Smith Wigglesworth, who was an early Pentecostal evangelist. Um, I know he died around, I believe, in 1948, so he would have been, uh, he lived up to be in his 80s, so he would have been born back in the eight, late 1800s, like in the 1880s, probably. But in this book of his sermons, he tells about six people, and this is a true story. He tells about six people going to pray, and I'm telling this because it shows the power of the name of Jesus, going to pray for a man who was bedfast and who was in a terrible state of sickness, disease, and so weak he could neither turn himself in bed or he could not even feed himself. So he was just totally helpless. And these six people who came, they were not preachers. They were not evangelists. They were just concerned neighbors and friends. Well, they gathered around the man's bed and they prayed, but nothing happened. One of them suggested, said, why don't we join hands? And, and you know, and then, and I think they took the hand of the man in the bed, but they joined hands around the bed. And why don't we join hands and just speak the name of Jesus? So as they stood around the bed with the helpless man lying in bed, unable to move, unable even to feed himself. And they begin to just speak at first softly, Jesus, 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 just speaking all those words over and over and over. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they sense the presence and the power of God beginning to fill the room. And then they, they noticed, and they just kept speaking over and over, Jesus, 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 these six friends around the bed, Jesus. They just kept speaking that word. And then they noticed the man in the bed, he began to stir. Well, now they begin to speak that word louder, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they watched with joy as they spoke the name. And now their voices have been raised uh, louder and louder. Jesus, Jesus. They watched with joy as the sick man arose and dressed himself. Wow. Incredible miracle. Through simply speaking the name of Jesus. Well, that's what the, uh, that's what the angel said. You shall call his name Jesus. Because remember the significance of names in Jewish culture, in biblical culture. The name was given to speak that child's destiny. His reason for being, his purpose, his character. And you shall call his name Jesus for he shall sozo his people. <laughs> He will sozo his people from their sins. But that word sozo is all inclusive of making whole, delivering from whatever ailed you. Oh, my friends, there's such significance in the name of Jesus. Jesus himself said in the Gospel of John 14, 14, he said, if you ask anything in my name, my friends, don't go to God in your name. Don't go to God telling God why he ought to bless you. Now, God, look, I've done this. I've done this for you, and I've done this. My friends, you know, one thing I've noticed in studying, uh, some of you know I've done a lot of research on America's early history at the direction of the Lord. And I've noticed that they would pray. Uh, and uh, that we ask this based on the merits in the name and the merits. <laughs> in other words, merits uh, is what you've done to deserve and they were acknowledging we've done nothing to deserve this lord we're asking this on the merits of our lord jesus christ and so jesus said if you ask anything in my name and in other words don't come in your name saying lord i deserve this you ought to do this because of me and what i've done no come on the basis of his name who he is what he has done there is sozo in his name. That's who he is. So ask for deliverance. Ask for healing in his name. John 14, 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And then in John 
chapter 16, verse 24, he says, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Wow. In Mark chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, he promises his followers, he says, in my name, they will cast out demons. My friends, demons are not afraid of you, but boy, are they ever afraid of Jesus. And when you face demons, face them, not in your name, face them in the name of the one whom you serve and the one to whom you have given your life and to the one who has given you the right and the privilege of using his name. In my name, Jesus said, they will cast out demons. And in my name, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So my friends, be bold today to utter his name in prayer. Be bold to utter his name against demonic attacks. Be bold to utter his name over all areas of your life. You may be, be surprised at what happens because there is power. There is sozo. There is salvation. There is deliverance. In the name of Jesus, his name, as Isaiah said, his name truly is wonderful. God bless you. I'm Eddie Hyatt. This is the Eddie Hyatt Podcast. Check out my website at eddiehyatt.com. There's a bookstore there, articles, all kinds of uh, resources that will be a blessing to you. Um, there's also my email there. I'll have to tell you, I haven't learned how to respond to your comments on the, I've, I've got to learn how to do this. I've tried to respond to comments on uh, the uh, Podbean website, but but when I've tried to reply, it hasn't gone through. It tells me to go someplace else, which I haven't figured it out. I will try to get that work through. But in the meantime, uh, if you'd like to send me an email, I would love to hear from me. My email is there on the homepage of my website, eddiehyatt.com. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless.